What makes a true artist? There are technical skills we need to learn about drawing, like shading and values and whatnot, but the most important tool of an artist is the mind, the very thing that we use to perceive the world. Being able to refine our mind as our sharpest tool will really help us take our work to the next level. Here are some skills I've realized that have naturally turned into habits that help me progress throughout my life and dive deep into my creativity. Learning how to tap into the flow state is like having the key to infinite possibilities. It all comes back to finding your happy place in your mind, anywhere you are. There's always access to creativity. Your mind is the key and the door is there in each moment, waiting to be opened. And yes, thinking too much can stop the flow. One way to practice getting into the flow state is to doodle. Just start sketching whatever feels good to you. It could be abstract lines and shapes, weird faces, strange animals, or even alien plants. By not trying to reach any goal in particular, the idea or image will usually come to you naturally and without force. Practicing this free sketching allows the mind to become calm and invites the creative juice to flow. I am always surprised at what I draw when I free sketch. There's no way I could ever imagine what I ended up drawing before I drew it. Being receptive and allowing each step to reveal itself to you is also a good practice in trusting your intuitive nudges. Let's see what you come up with. There will be parts of our art that we like and we don't like. Like anything in life, nothing will be absolutely perfect like we imagine it. So why not celebrate what's working and put our attention on our favorite parts of each piece of art that we make. It could be a small sketch or master painting, but there's always something we learned or maybe tried within that piece. Learning to acknowledge our mistakes, but always keeping our focus on the successful parts of our art and progress will keep us motivated to create more and progressively better work. With each sketch, drawing, painting, or anything you create, ask yourself, what parts of this piece isn't really working? Then ask yourself, which parts of it am I proud of? What did I try new that was successful? The next one is enjoying the process and just going with the flow. Good things take time. It's important to learn how to enjoy the process and not get too caught up in focusing on what we think the outcome should be. Just staying present and in the creative flow will always bring about great artwork. Not only do we build patience for creating artwork itself, but we also learn how to be patient with our own progress. Everyone learns and works at different speeds, and that's okay. Find your speed and allow yourself the time to learn new skills at your own comfortable pace. Also, just know that learning anything new at first is really challenging and can be slow at first. Persistence and enjoying every step of the way is what makes all art fun. While there is no way to really teach or directly learn how to be patient, all we can do is practice. So with each art piece we make of any kind, we can give ourselves a realistic time frame to complete it and to also see our progress and each success. Art really is a wonderful journey without a known destination. My mantra for patience is it will happen when the time is ripe. So keeping a sketchbook with you, this one isn't much of a skill as it is a habit. Having a sketchbook and drawing pencils and pens with you prepares you for when a moment of inspiration hits. A sketchbook is your safe place where you can do absolutely anything you want. There is no right or wrong. Try all sizes and different papers. Everything gives a little bit of a different feel and it may inspire you to create something new. Practice, practice, practice and your sketchbook will soon become your new best friend. Whether it's sketching, doodling, experimenting with new mediums, writing, collaging, saving photos or materials, a sketchbook is where all your ideas get to safely grow. It is your mind on paper. So be free and express yourself.